Hey! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time that it is that you come across this reading. My name is Anani Badu, and I am back with another one. Yay! Keep in mind that these are general collective readings, and I don't read for any one specific sign on this channel. If this is your story or business, if this resonates, be honest with yourself. Plug yourself into the reading where you deserve to be. Smack it up, flip it, rub it down, hit the reverse on it. Do whatever you have to do, but don't force it. Only take what resonates with you, your life, your story, and leave the rest behind. If this is your story, your business, if this resonates, give it a thumbs up. Like it if you like it and subscribe if you like my vibe. Welcome, hey, if you're new, and welcome back if you have been here before. Okay, so let me tell y'all what I channeled. I don't know where you stand, okay? There's uh, there's two feminine energies, one masculine energy, right? So basically, what I channeled was a masculine has been, I don't, okay, I don't know where, where the storyline is either. Okay, so what I channeled was there's a masculine who was stalking and watching a feminine online. Um, this was somebody that they were in love with. I would really say more of an addiction and obsession and infatuation with this person. They had a period with this person six months, a year, two years, who knows, and it didn't get off the ground. It didn't go any further because this masculine was still holding on to someone from their past. That may have even left this feminine out in the cold, ghosted this person, or told this person a bunch of lies in order to try to have their cake and eat it too. They wanted to see how the past situation was going to play out, but they also didn't want to lose this new person because this was their new infatuation and obsession. But this is somebody obsessive. This is somebody with an addictive personality. This is also somebody who's very dominant and controlling, and they didn't want to lose control over this past person, although they felt like they were gaining some sort of control over this new person because they felt like this new feminine was falling in love with them and that's how this person controls people with emotions so they end up losing i feel like they lost the past feminine because they wanted to they may have even forced this person out of their life so that they made a decision they were like you know what fuck it i'm on the fence you know so they pushed this person away so they could go towards this person so this one is out of the picture. They're, they're waiting to go towards this person because they're not where they want to be financially. They don't feel like they make enough. They don't feel like they're good enough. So they, they, they're stalking and watching this person, but they're not making any moves towards this person because of where they are financially. They don't have a place. They don't have a car. And these could be things that this masculine had when they met this feminine, right? So you could be this new feminine or you could be the past feminine. I don't know we gonna dive into it because what ends up happening is they're watching this new feminine she ends up getting into a new relationship and then they double back and that's where I, that's what i feel like is coming out right here the problem is whoever they're going back towards this person they don't trust this masculine anymore this masculine like really destroyed this past connection they destroyed their viewpoint, this past person's viewpoint of them. Like this person don't trust them no more. This person don't look at them, find them attractive. This person don't want to be around them, don't want to talk to them, don't want to hang around with them. The past person, although I feel like it was really hard and I do feel like there was a period where there was a chaser and they, this one was running and they were chasing after this one. And it, you know what I'm saying? So it was some runner chaser. The past feminine was chasing the past masculine. However, chasing may be for you and the masculine was chasing the new feminine who was running. The new feminine ends up running into a new, and I feel like this feminine doesn't trust this masculine either. That's why they decided to keep moving forward without this masculine. But there was a period where this person was single and this masculine was seeing that. But I feel like they see now that this, this person is ending up moving into a really, really positive, really good relationship, something that's gonna go the distance. So I don't know if they're engaged. I don't know, but this person is committed and it happened right in front of this masculine's face because this masculine stalks this person 
you know, pretty regularly. For a lot of you guys, I'm hearing, I keep hearing Snapchat. So if your masculine made a Snapchat out of nowhere and you like, what the fuck, you know, it was so they could stalk this person. If your masculine has secretly had a Snapchat for years, they're stalking this other feminine. And this feminine sees them watching the stories. They don't say anything to this feminine and the feminine don't say nothing to them, but she see them watching. But it's not, she hasn't, she ain't stopping. They're thinking, oh, you see me watching. You ain't finna date nobody else. You ain't finna move on because you know I'm still interested. But that's not what happens. So they go back to the past person. They don't trust this past feminine anymore. They don't trust this feminine because of the, the actions that they have taken against this feminine. So they feel like if, if they go back into this, this person's gonna treat them how they treated this person. They feel like if they go back into this, they're gonna get cheated on, used, abused, manipulated, you know, just belittled, emasculated. They feel like everything bad is gonna happen, but that's also how this feminine feels about them. If you come back, you're only coming back to hurt me. You're only coming back to use me and abuse me, manipulate me, to try to get control over me, to try to, you know, force me to be with you when you don't even want to fucking be with me and I don't want to motherfucking be with you, Joe Codependent, you know what I mean? So I feel like this part, I feel like they feel the same. There, There's mirrored energy. So this could be you, that which blows me, right? You think somebody is better for you out there in the world than your past person. So you leave this person to go have that person. And when that don't go how you thought it, you go back, you go back to something that ain't shit. You go back to something you threw away. You go back to something, to somebody that you don't fuck with, you don't like, you don't love, they ain't important. You don't value them, you don't respect them. They ain't never did nothing for you. That's who you gonna go try to go back to. Cause that's the shit this person has been saying about this feminine to this feminine and anybody else who will listen this feminine just wanted me for my money this person only had the kids so they could use me this per they've been talking mad motherfucking shit about this person that they're about to try to go back to why are they going back though because they weren't good enough for this person in their mind they don't know if they were good enough for this person they never put themselves out there they waited and, and watched this person get into a new relationship because they felt like they were not good enough. Now they're coming back to the past feminine in the same energy of feeling like they're not good enough. They're frustrated because they don't want to be here, but they can't get this. This is done. This is dead. This is over. There's never going to be an opportunity for them to be with this person again because now they feel deceived, betrayed, and slighted by this person because this person got into a relationship instead of sitting around waiting and wondering if they ever gonna come back or if they ever gonna say something, you know, instead of just watching them. So they, they don't wanna go back to this person because this is someone who holds grudges and, and you know, somebody very immature and petty and ignorant and crazy and childish. So they're, they're now mad and angry. They hate this person, I hate this bitch. You know, she fake, he fake, this person ain't loyal. All the shit they said about you, they're now saying about this person. Or all the shit they said about their ex, they now saying it about you. But the codependency is why they're going back to the ex. They don't, so they're going back frustrated. They still don't feel like they're good enough. They still are insecure. They, they know they sabotaged this situation intentionally on their own for their own selfish reasons. So they know they self-sabotage this and there's fear that they're gonna be done the same way that, that they did this person. But there's also ego and there's codependency and there's control and possession and obsession with this person still. Yes, they tried to go off and be with somebody else, but you, if you are the past person, you've been on their mind the whole time. They never stopped thinking about you. They never stopped obsessing over you. They never stopped feeling jealous that you're moving on with your life. They never stop feeling jealous that you're in a new relationship or that you're gonna be in a new relationship one day. Like they never stopped feeling possessive and, and jealous and, and feeling like they wanted to have or needed control over you or that they have control over you, right? Because some of y'all this person feel like you're theirs, you're always gonna be theirs, you ain't never gonna go nowhere. They can drop you and pick you up whenever they feel like it. They about to find out. I feel like they about to learn something. But um, this is crazy. And it's weird. So after they lose this person and their love, lust, infatuation, whatever it is, starts to turn to hate for this new person, they're going to start missing this past person. 
again, they didn't talk down on this person. They didn't t to call this person out. Uh, everything but a child of God, okay? They didn't told all this person's business, whether it be true, false, otherwise, made the fuck up. They have laughed at this person. They have hurt this person. They went out of their way to destroy this person on their way out the door so that this person could not build themselves back up and get into nothing new, right? So this this motherfucker that we talking about got to be crazy because now that they hate this other one who jumped in a relationship right in their goddamn face is how they feel they're they're missing this person thinking about this person yearning for this person and unsure of the future because they know that they overdid it there there's a way to leave shit behind right you don't have to burn a bridge just because you're leaving something behind and there could have been an opportunity for these two people to get back together. But this masculine destroyed that opportunity. They, he, he or she burnt this bridge. They annihilated this person. They disrespected this person. They overstepped this person's boundaries. They belittled this person. They laughed at him, talked about him, right? How motherfucking dare you try to go back? How dare you feel like you miss this person? Miss you for what? You aren't shit. You're garbage, right? You're trash, according to them. That's why they left. How dare you fucking miss somebody that you turned around and walked? So, with lightning, I feel like lightning goes both ways. This 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 person here is going to post their man, their woman, whoever it is. They're going to post this person because they see this person watching them. And there was a period where it was really hard for this feminine to let this masculine go. It was really hard for this feminine to accept the fact that they weren't, that this, that they were not chosen. Even though they were chosen, they didn't know they were chosen. This masculine might've tried to play with this person's mind and stuff, and it may have worked briefly, but it didn't work forever, right? But there was a period where this woman or man over here was waiting on this masculine to come and choose them and hold them in high honor and show them off and let everybody know that I'm your woman, I'm your man. Don't hide me. Don't make me a secret, right? They never got that. They never got it, but they did wait. They sat and they waited. And you know what? This one here sat and waited too. This person sat and waited for this masculine to come back home, for this masculine to choose them, for this masculine to do things the right way. Leave, but leave properly, right? Come back and fix it, you know? So this one was either waiting on them to come be with them again or this one was just waiting on this masculine to bring some sort of positivity into the situation. But because this stupid fuck thought they had something better, they thought they that they would leave this in chaos and, and madness and destruction, which is what they did. But this person did too. It was bad. It was chaotic. There was negativity. You know, there's hate, right? There's no bitterness or resentment. There's now hate. This person hates this masculine. But there was a period where this person did not have these feelings. They did not hate. They did not. There was no bitterness or resentment. None of that. There was a period where it was like, he's going to do the right thing. He has to. She's going to do the right thing. She has to. This motherfucker know they wrong. They know that I ain't do none of them. They know they cheating. They know they trying to run off with somebody else. Why am I getting treated like shit? Because you found somebody else. That is the, That ain't the way to leave a situation just because you found somebody else, right? So there was a period where this one was, they were waiting probably simultaneously for this motherfucker to make a decision, right? Now he has lost both feminines or she has lost both feminines. But this person's ego has them thinking that they can go backwards. Their ego had them thinking that they had this person over here stuck forever. But now their ego got them thinking that they can go back. And so it was all of a sudden that this person posted this man or this woman or posted this ring. Oh, ah, yeah, you know how people do. Whatever they did, that hit this person like a ton of fucking bricks. They never fucking saw this coming. There wasn't a hint. There wasn't an indication. There wasn't any, you know, anything, any type of post prior to whatever it was. There was no indication that there was a man or a woman in this person's life. So that hit this this masculine out of nowhere, okay? It was very surprising. It was very shocking news. It, it, it was it caused a lot of upheaval, but it instantaneously shifted this person back over to you. 
Now, I do feel like they went through a couple of days, weeks, months where they were crying and, and saying how much they hate this person, maybe even started trying to reach out to this person, or they may have started trying to DM this person after they saw the relationship, but it's too motherfucking late. You snooze, you lose, right? So now when they come back to you, it's going to feel like a sudden change. It's going to feel like a, sh uh, a surprise or a shocking news for you when they call you trying to be nice, trying to talk to you, trying to have a a full length conversation, not just sitting on the phone in silence, not hanging up in your face, not, you know, talking about, ugh, why, ugh, the whole time you're on, ugh, sighing and shit. They gonna call you being nice, being polite, being respectful, you know, attentive. Did you need anything? What's wrong? You sound sad. You sound upset. These are things they ain't said or did towards this feminine in years. Okay, they don't give a fuck about this person, not really. But they are codependent and they need somebody to pour into them. They need somebody to make them feel good enough. They need somebody to make them feel a little less insecure. Okay, They always going to be insecure. That's a personal problem. But if somebody's loving you and pouring into you and telling you you're amazing and, and they need you and you saved them and you healed them and helped, then you'll feel a little more secure, a little more. Right, so they, they need this past person for that. This is crazy. I'm feeling, I feel very strongly though that the past feminine is gonna be in a, in a something too. So maybe a crossroads is coming for the past feminine, but I don't think it's gonna be much of a crossroads because I think that, um. Gosh, how do you say it? It's too late. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they missed their opportunity with this past feminine. And that's okay. But they just got to move on. Stabbed in the back. You see, with coffee cup. Come on now. They're going to feel deceived, heartbroken, like they were attacked by this newer feminine. All because this, per this person didn't wait for them for the rest of their fucking life. This motherfucker could be broke for 10 more years. You know, trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to watch from a distance and stalk and spy. So they felt stabbed in the back. And then you get some sort of offer. Hey, do you want to go on a date? Hey, do you want to go out for coffee? Hey, do you want to go to the movies? Hey, can I stop by for a minute? And that's where the shock is going to come from. Because, bitch, I ain't heard from you. You don't fuck with me. You don't like me. You don't love me. You don't give a fuck about me. Why are you coffee with me for what? Come sit around at my house for what? The fuck are you calling me for, right? Like, that's kind of where I feel like you are going to be internally. I don't know how you're going to act on the outside. I think y'all are going to go for this meeting because it, uh, curiosity, right? But curiosity killed that cat. You know, I don't know if y'all heard, but... I think your curiosity is what's going to have you go for this meetup to see what the fuck do you want. So y'all are going for the meeting to see what they got to say, what they want. A lot of you guys are holding your breath, but you're expecting for this person to apologize and, and send you on your way. You expecting for some sort of rec like rectifying, not reconciliation, but to rectify the situation. Because remember, this is... There's disdain, there's dismay, there's chaos, there's conflict, there's issues, there's beef, there's hate from this. But it's both ways as far as this feminine is concerned. Because this masculine left her or him in this energy for years or months or however long it was. So they're like, okay, you hate me, I now hate you, right? So it's like, okay, I didn't want to have to hate you and I don't really give a fuck why you hate me, but you really don't have a reason. So maybe you just want to apologize. So I, I think that y'all are going for an apology. I don't think y'all are going for any fucking thing else from this masculine. But y'all may end up savoring the moment. It could be really nice to see this person. It could be really nice for this person to be in this type of energy towards you. So you could get excited, some of y'all, but I just feel like it'll be a savoring of the moment. Like, wow, that was nice. Maybe we can rebuild a friendship. You know, maybe we can be friends so we can co-parent properly. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want your bitch ass. Don't want your back, never will. Don't give a fuck what happens in your life. Don't give a fuck how many years pass. But maybe we could be friends because I'm friends with every single one of my exes, except one, right? I, the, my kid's father, the only person I don't like, don't want no friendship with, don't want no nothing to do with. But everybody else I'm cool with, everybody, okay? 
So if y'all are like me and you're like, you don't have no reason to not like your exes. It's like shit happened, shit ended. You went your way, I went mine, no beef, right? Then you may feel like, oh, you know, it may bother you that you don't have that type of relationship with this person. But I don't, I just don't feel that. I don't feel like this is bothering you. I feel like this bothered you when it bothered you, but you're the type to get over things and leave them behind in the past where they belong. So I don't, I really don't feel like it's bothering you as, as much as, you know, as I'm saying, right? I, I feel like it's more so curiosity, you know? Like what, what could you possibly fucking want? <laughs> What could you want with me? What could you want to say to me? I feel like you're going to be extremely guarded. You may even be defensive. Some of y'all, this may even turn out, y'all may end up getting into some sort of an argument or a fight with this person. Self-indulgence. You've been focusing on yourself, self-worth, taking time to heal, doing your shadow work and, and showing yourself appreciation. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? The, the Grim Reaper love with karmic relationship. The relationship is over, no second chances. So that's your mindset. The relationship is over, there are no second chances. You're growing and you're transforming your life. And you're focusing on yourself during this transition and this transformation. Then you get, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. Unconditional love. This could be the same person. But y'all see how karmic, this is a karmic relationship. It was karmic when you met them. It was karmic for all the times you was in their life and they were in yours. And if it's still karmic between y'all. It don't matter what type of conversation y'all have or what type of, you know, lunch or coffee date or whatever. It's still going to be a karmic cycle and situation because this person is who they are, right? If you didn't know who they were prior to, now you know this person's a liar, they're a snake, they're a manipulator, they're selfish, they're cruel, they're evil, they're mean, they're vindictive, they hold grudges, they're heartless. You know this stuff now. So why would you get, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think y'all are trying to get back with this person, but it's like, why would they even want you to be, you know, because you know them. This is somebody who likes to wear masks. This is somebody who likes to be fake. This is someone who likes to shape shift. So it's just I, you know? It's like, why would you do any of the above when you know I know you? When you know I know the real you? Not that fake ass motherfucker that you pretend to be at all your jobs and when you're around new people. I know the real you, the piece of shit, garbage motherfucker that you are. I know that person. Why are you trying to come back over here? because you have unconditional love. This person knows you have unconditional love because you once were giving it to them and they didn't appreciate it or respect it at that time. So they coming back for the unconditional love. But I think y'all are gonna be in a, a passionate connection with somebody else and it could just be sex. It could be just sex or it could just be sex based. But I think, you know, y'all have this, yeah, the lovers with the tower, that shit split on the motherfucking tower. what I say? This person is going to go through a tower moment with whoever they thought they were building some sort of foundation with. The foundation was faulty. They were still obsessed and addicted and, and codependent on you during the time that they got together with this lover. And for all we know, because if you are the lover then you could have already had somebody else on the side or you could have been going between this masculine and somebody else the whole entire time. And then when this person removed themselves and went back to their ex, and then that ended and then they had to take all them years to get their money together, you could have, you could things could have got really serious and very intense between you and your new person, which caused the tower between you and whoever this karmic masculine is but you did yourself a favor if you're the new feminine because you would have been in a karmic relationship with this person giving them all of your unconditional love and pouring into them and never receiving anything in return you this person or the other anybody involved could be a gemini or a scorpio or a libra um so yeah with the empress i feel like this feminine may be pregnant currently or they they're getting ready to have a child or something. This person's pregnant or they having a baby, but it's with the new, that may be what they find out. 
they may post a, a, a sonogram or, or a pregnancy stick or something like that and they may find out that this person got pregnant by somebody else and that could be the thing that destroys their foundation because it was faulty, okay? They still had a fuck they mad and feeling deceived and stabbed in the back and betrayed and they still hanging on to and in love with they ex or obsessed with or having a desire to want to control because they don't love them, not really, right? But they think that it's love, but it's really possession and control and addiction and codependency. So yeah, wow. Whatever went down, however they tried, they tried to leave this person broken, destroyed, hurt. That's how they, they're, they've been left. Broken, destroyed, hurt, what, deceived, betrayed, stabbed. Everything they did, it was done to them. Mirror. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, so. <laughs> So, we know they're trying to get, get their past person back into a karmic relationship. This new person has saved themselves from whatever karmic cycle that they would have been in with this masculine. Because it would not, they might have been in competition with this past feminine. They might have been jealous of this past feminine. They might have been talking down on this past feminine with friends, family members, with the ex but they really didn't know what they were getting themselves into fucking with this person look ten of swords i'm telling y'all this person feels very much deceived and betrayed and who are they in separation from yeah this one is committed or pregnant you're single that's why they're trying to come back to you because you're single you're y'all are both empresses in your own right but you're you're just more of a available than this person is and that's really why they coming back you're available a lot of you guys may have been struggling or doing bad when y'all separated or when y'all stopped talking or but you're not doing bad anymore you're not struggling anymore you're doing really really well for yourself financially you have this nine of pentacles i feel like you have great finances you have great money coming in you have great opportunities but you're still continuing to go for more right you're not just stagnant you're not just like okay you know i'm doing tarot so that's it nah like you got other business ventures going i feel like you're very focused yeah so i like this empress energy but you see they're sad missing you thinking about you yearning i don't like that That's so funny. Okay, so what's going on for the Empress? We have the King of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, with the Two of Swords, I told y'all this keep coming out because y'all are going to be at a crossroads. Two of Pentacles, and then we have, I mean, Two of Swords, and we have the King of Pentacles with the Emperor. So this past person, whoever's trying to come back to y'all, y'all were married to this person. Y'all lived with this person, or y'all have a kid with this person. Or it was a really long back and forth, in and out type of situation. But something that was more, whoever this is, this is more than six years. Six years or more. Um, so they coming back. They have a plan. They're coming back, they have a plan, and they're coming back in this innocent, childlike energy. So they may try to play like... They don't know what the fuck you talking about. They may try to play like, you know, y'all, you know, y'all separated because you wanted to something. I do feel like this person's going to try to play dumb because talking about the past or getting back into what happened with y'all in the past is not a part of their plan. That's not going to secure the position in your life that they're trying to secure. So y'all may end up getting into some sort of fight or argument or disagreement. But what I really feel with the Five of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Pentacles after that is this person is actually going to be a third party to their ex. Again, Three of Pentacles is collaboration, you know, friendship, think, learning something new, all types of different energy. But I'm really getting like collaboration and friendship, especially with this coffee cup energy. So y'all are going to go have coffee or whatever. That's going to give this person the notion that they can compete for you or that they have there's an opportunity for reconciliation even though you may not feel like that even though there really isn't because y'all have the king of cups 
the Eight of Pentacles. So there's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or somebody who has a lot of feelings and emotions for you guys. This person could already be in the picture, or they could be coming. Um, some of y'all are going to meet this person through work. It could be a Scorpio masculine in particular with judgment. But if it's not a Scorpio, and it's not necessarily that you have to meet them at work. It could be through their job, through your job, at y'all job. or. But I really feel like more so it's going to be a lot of work for this person to get you to open your heart and take them serious and pour into them. Not because you're damaged or you don't you don't want love or nothing, but more so because it's not your focus. It's not important right now, right? That's like something that you feel like you can get later. I can acquire love in my 40s, right? I look good as fuck and I'm aging fine as wine, right? I don't have to rush into no relationship today, right? So I feel like it's more so that type of mindset and... It's going to be a lot of work for this person to get you to pass judgment in their favor but i feel like their intentions are solid they're they're pure they're they want to offer you security longevity something with roots you know something that can go the distance with the ace of pentacles so this person is coming in with financial stability they're coming in with a basically a clear head on their shoulders knowing what they want when they want it how where all those types of things and knowing who they want it with so this person is 100 percent sure that they want to expand and grow their future and, and have a life with you um which is the love that's coming i i feel like this person is going to be I feel like you and this person are very similar. I feel like they're going to be unconditionally loving just the same as you are. I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion, right? Lots of sex, actually. I won't even, We won't even mince our words. I feel like there's going to be a lot of sex between you and this masculine, especially initially. It's like y'all are going to get to know each other and get through that phase. But once y'all get to the... When y'all actually start having sex... Y'all are going to have sex all the fucking time. And I don't know. I feel like that's just going to solidify you guys' connection. You know, make it a little more real. Make it a little more more stable and, and secure. And Not that sex is that, but that's just what I'm feeling in this situation. Like, like y'all are going to be bumping, okay? I don't know why that... Maybe, you, maybe you're a Scorpio. Maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. I know for me, I, I say it all the time, like, if we ain't fucking, we ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know that sounds terrible. I don't care. It just is what it is. Like, if we don't have a sexual connection, we're definitely not together. Okay? And I ain't think about your ass. So, maybe you're like that. If you are like that, then it's like this is going to make this real for you, right? This is this will be where you op start to open your heart up to this person. Ooh, that's scary and that's dangerous getting in, you know, that's scary and that's dangerous it is. But the person that this masculine is going through this tower with could be a Pisces. But yeah, damn, see again, the tower with the high priestess. So they're going to hide this tower moment or try to hide this tower moment. They've already been, for some of y'all, they're hiding this person or they've been hiding this person. You know what I mean? It's not really hiding it anymore because y'all aren't, y'all don't talk, y'all are no longer part of each other's lives. Um, but it, it is the way it is because they didn't want to talk to you or, or lead you. They didn't want you to know they were in something or doing something with somebody else. They didn't want you to know that they left you to explore their options as if you're fucking stupid, right? Like why, bitch, you left for a reason. You ain't leave because you just didn't want to be here no more, right? So they tried to keep it a secret that they were chasing around after this other person or trying to build their life up and their finances to go and provide for this other person. And then when they come back to you, they're going to hide the fact that they've gone through this tower moment or that they're in because I feel they're in currently. When they come back, they will still be in misery and pain and deception and heartbreak and stabbing the back ass energy, shocking attack ass energy when they come back. But they're going to try their damnedest to hide this from you. But they're going to be on edge, which is why I feel like you guys may end up getting into a fight, an argument, a disagreement. If you try to bring up the past or if you're too calm, too cool, too collected, too much of a friend, right? If you're a listening ear, if you're like really, if you really don't give a fuck about anything they're saying and they can tell and feel it, it may anger this person because they're trying to collaborate with you. They're trying to come back. 
if they catch wind, you not being concerned, you not being upset, you not crying, you not reacting, that's going to lead this person to believe that there's competition, which there is. That's not why you're not reacting, though, right? The past feminine isn't reacting because the past feminine does not care anymore. The past feminine is over this person and this situation completely. Even if shit don't work out with this king of cups, this feminine isn't going back to this, this karmic masculine. The karmic masculine is trying to get back in with this feminine, okay? So... They're going to be jealous and upset and fired up and angry that this King of Cups has came in and sat in their seat because they got the fuck up and moved. It ain't theirs no more, right? Now this seat, this seat belongs to this King of Cups. But this person is possessive and crazy, we know, and codependent. So they're going to try to fight for this. I don't know. I just feel like this person is going to become kind of rude and hostile towards y'all when they find out you have another option. Or they may become extremely over-the-top, sweet, nice, and caring, and loving to try to, to pose themselves as like a suitable competitor for this King of Cups when we both know they're not, okay? But the reason they're fired up, if they get the attitude, start yelling, cussing, screaming, talking shit, trying to drudge up old shit, because I feel like this person ain't got a problem drudging up old shit, but the minute you say one thing that they actually said and did is a problem. But they're going to start drudging up old shit and all of that because they want this Ten of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Pentacles. They have literally damn near nothing to even bring into the equation. You're getting this. You have this Ten of Pentacles because you have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Cups is coming with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, which is the whole shit. Bang, bang. All right. That's the whole shit. Boinky. That's what you want somebody to come with. Because you can have a nine of pentacles and have somebody come bring you a fucking page of pentacles, right? But that ain't what you want. You want an ace of pentacles to get to this ten. And that's what you got. This is real shit, okay? The real deal, real love, real relationship, real feelings. Everything that's going on with you is very fucking real. Just like everything that was going on with them and the new feminine was very real too. They brought all the dismay and chaos and stupid shit into their connection and destroyed it. Just like they destroyed the connection with you. <laughs> so keep all of that in mind because you could be put, you're going to be put in the same position this masculine was put in. There was a time when this masculine should have told this past feminine, hey, look, I don't want you no more. Hey, look, kiss my ass. Hey, look, we not trying again. I'm over here now. And this would have thrived for them. They would have got with, they would have kept everything they had, their money, their car, their job, and they would have gained more in this past feminine. Probably would have lost, lost money, lost their mind, lost everything. But because this masculine chose to do things the way that they did, the fucking, the, the wheel is shifting, right? And the shoe is about to be on the other foot where now this feminine got all the power, all the options and all the money. And this masculine literally has nothing. And when that happens, you have to be strong enough, basically, to do what they were not strong enough to do in the past. They couldn't tell the past feminine to kiss their ass and go on about it. They had to have this person and this person. You can't have two people. So y'all are going to be in a two of swords. Y'all are going to be at somewhat of a crossroads. But don't let that last too long. And don't have this King of Cups feeling pushed to the wayside or put on the back burner or ignored for something that you already know isn't going to work out because this person this past person is coming to use you without a shadow of a motherfucking doubt okay so communication is going to start to to pick up between you and somebody could be you i feel like maybe you and this king of cups we have the eight of wands the fool and the Nine of Cups, this King of Cups could be an Aries also, who knows, or a Leo. But yeah, we have the sun. So so you're going to start talking. Some of y'all might be lonely or bored or you don't have a lot of people to talk to. This person may live in another city or another state. They may not, who knows, but you may be bored or you don't talk to a lot of people or you keep your circle real tight and you're like, you know, I'm not going to just put myself out there so I can have somebody to fucking talk to on the phone. But you end up getting this communication from this, this King of Cups, and the communication is going to be rapid, right? I don't think it may not start off like that, but once it starts, it's going to start. And y'all are going to be talking on the phone all the time and FaceTiming all the time and texting all the time. 
that's that getting to know each other, reconnecting or building or rebuilding, right? And then y'all move to the sex side of things with the fool. Y'all take a leap of faith. Okay, let's take this to the next level. Nine of Cups. It's going to be good, okay? It's going to be good to you. It's going to be good to this person. It's a wish fulfillment. It's like, God damn, I ain't never had no sex like this before. God damn, I ain't never felt feelings this deep before. God damn, I ain't never felt feelings from having sex before, right? Because that's a girl thing. That's not a guy thing, all right? Most of the time. And then, boom, the sun. Happiness, innocence, childlike energy. Yay, I love you. You love me. Just excited to be with and around each other at all times. Anytime y'all come together, it's a fucking party, right? Anytime y'all come together, it's a fucking celebration. It's exciting. It's like, yes, yes, this is my boo. Queen of Cups, you see, King y'all, y'all are going to love this person to death, and they gonna love you just the same. Ain't nobody gonna be able to come between you and this masculine, especially on this masculine side. Your side is a little shaky. I don't think that this past person really has a shot, but I do think they're gonna try to play on your feelings, your emotions. They're gonna try to play on the fact that y'all had some sort of history together in the past. Yeah, temperance with the five of swords and the nine of wands. So yeah, yeah, this this emperor is coming in to play some sort of mind games with you and possibly get you to drop your guard because you're so guarded and defensive. Or they're gonna get really angry and competitive and start feeling like they gotta get you back at all costs. They almost feel like they have to take you from this other person. Somebody involved could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, y'all, this this is going to take a lot of strength, Eight of Swords. Y'all are going to be kind of in your head, I feel like, Five of Cups. But we know this masculine, you guys are going to be in your head. You may even regret going to the lunch or whatever it was because it's going to really give this person the idea that they can chase you down and stalk you and obsess over you and force their way back into your life. So you may have guilt like, fuck, you know, I didn't put me and my baby in a bad position. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be nice to this ugly, dumb motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Um, but also, they're in a really dark, really bad place mentally. This is so comical. I'm not going to lie. Because it's like, go, like, be, they're in this mental place over you because you have someone new. But they're also in this mental place over this past feminine. This other, this newer feminine that they lost. It's like, chase that bitch down. Go try to force that person to be with you. Go try to step on that person's toe. Okay, you don't care if they pregnant for real. Go get in that pregnant pussy and get your bitch back. Like, don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. When this person find out the truth, Four of Pentacles, why you started holding back or why you're 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 holding back when they come back. Oh, it's going to, the regret is, I feel like it's just going to make the regret and whatever mental disturbance that they have, it's going to amplify it like crazy. But this is this could be some sort of karma for this masculine. This masculine could have been playing in black magic. And they may actually be thinking about this. The fact that they were playing in magic or something. Burning candles and shit. They feel like this is karma for something they did when it comes to like the occult in the past. They could have been doing magic on you and this other feminine and still lost y'all. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do it if y'all know what you're doing. Shit. <laughs> don't do it if you don't know, baby. Like, whatever they did, it didn't work out for them. Or maybe it worked out temporarily, but this person didn't realize you have to pay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do that, but you got to pay for that. It ain't free. It's like you got what you asked for. You didn't say you wanted it forever. You got to be specific, right? You got to be specific when you're talking to them angels and them demons, okay? And they didn't say, you know, give me this forever. They said, give me her. Bring bring so-and-so back. Don't let them get away. And, and you didn't for a while. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look at this. This is you. We know, okay, we know this new person is getting in something new or they got a baby. We're not going to keep talking about them because, bitch, who cares, okay? 
but this is you because here's this nine of cups now we know you getting your wish fulfillment all the way around but i mean mostly in the bed but all the way around i won't even say mostly in the bed yeah oh my gosh with the four of wands so this person you're coming together with could be your twin or somebody you have a deep soul tie with or you guys could end up moving in together this is going to be so beautiful it's going to be so celebratory it's going to be so happy so nice so loving so fine right y'all are going to have so much fucking fun together you and this new person y'all are going to love the shit out of each other but look at this shit the two of swords and the judgment and we already have the two of swords with this emperor and then we have the judgment it's like you already end up passing judgment in this King of Cups favor. Look, I couldn't make it the fuck up. Here's the Emperor. Here's the Two of Swords with the judgment. Here's the Knight of Swords rushing in, you know, or continuing to come towards you. You know, once it start, it's not going to stop, okay? And some of y'all are really thinking like, I don't know what you're talking about, or I ain't heard from this person in three years, or I haven't spoke to them in five. Trust me, I'm telling y'all, if this, if your baby daddy especially, okay, or if you were married especially, this person is coming back. Because they feel like because y'all have kids, they own you, or because y'all were married, they own you. And you're going to be in this two, two of swords. Is this them? It's not, I, I don't really feel like this is them in the Two of Swords. But at the same time, they're kind of unsure of how to get judgment in their favor. They're a little afraid. They're not sure if you're going to open up to them or give them the shot or the chance or the opportunity that they're wanting or looking for. But that's not going to stop this person from coming in and continuing to come in. You see, with the Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Swords... They're not going to stop coming towards you because they need somebody to help them heal and release this heartbreak from this other soul tie. Where they really tried to manifest for that situation to, to grow and become more, but it didn't. And they need somebody to help them. They need somebody to heal them. Heal their broken heart. So they want you to heal their broken heart that somebody else broke. But at the same time, this could also be that they're coming in to try to heal your broken heart. Because they feel like y'all soul ties hidden different and it's real and it, you know what I mean? So they're trying to come, they're basically wanting you to heal their broken heart and they're going to act as if they're coming in to heal your broken heart so they can manifest for whatever foundation y'all used to have in the past to grow together. Because they feel like they got a soul tie with you and with this other person. But then you're going to start getting bored. You're bored with them. You're bored with this situation. You're over them. You're over it. So you're going to reject them or you're, they're going to feel extremely rejected. And then look. The devil with the queen of pentacles and the eight of swords. So yeah, y'all were once married or y'all once lived together. Y'all were once, you know... Y'all have kids or you whatever. You, you used to provide for them. They used to provide for you something. But we got the king and queen of pentacles out here. We have the emperor and we have the empress. But you're in this. This is now ace of cups empress, right? We already know when you meet this person, you're in the nine of pentacles. You're a single empress. Then y'all start this new relationship, which we know y'all are getting into. This past person, this crazy motherfucker is going to feel deceived and slighted and betrayed and stabbed in the back by you. So are you the one? Damn, are you the person that they watching? Oh, fuck. Y'all, I thought it was too feminist, but I think it's you. I think you're the new, I think, I think you the new feminine. I think it's your energy that's new. You're a new woman or a new man after this situation and then you meet this new person. You either get pregnant or y'all start a relationship then you post them out of no fucking where. Not even knowing that this motherfucker been stalking you. Because this person may be stalking y'all under a fake profile. And when they find out that you're actually committed or the stalking may not start until y'all go for this coffee date and you're very blasé, right? You're very flippant when you go to that that meetup and then they may make a fake profile and start stalking you online okay especially if you have or use a snapchat and then once they start stalking you online they may end up seeing you post this person but you don't even know they seeing you post them because you don't know they they're watching 
Then they start competing. They get angry. Then the competition starts once they see this person on your social media. Y'all might be laying. I, I'm seeing somebody laying in bed or like maybe like kissing in the car. Something like that that you post of this other masculine. Holy shit. Y'all didn't see that coming at all. I did not see that fucking coming. I thought it was two feminines, baby-ish. Yo, you the new feminine. You got the new man. You engaged. You pregnant, okay? You married. Some of y'all are living with somebody or engaged, but you not pregnant. And then you gonna get pregnant, and that's what's gonna send this person over the fucking edge, over the top. Like, how dare you get pregnant by somebody else, especially if you already got kids with your past person. Whew, y'all, I didn't see this coming. Now, everything still stands. I do think somebody did. There was somebody else. They did experience a tower, and they are going to try to hide that, or they hid the person to begin with. They hid that they were there even was somebody else. They went through their whole cycle with that person, and it blew up in their face. Or they were trying to get themselves together, and that could still stand, right? That could have happened to them, and it could be happening to them again, where they watch this bitch get in a relationship. Now they finna watch you get in a fucking relationship right in front of their fucking eyes. Or this is all you. This is nuts. Oh my lanta, I didn't see this coming. So yeah. Yep, 10 of cups. The star with the six of wands. Ace of Cups with the Fool. So yeah, this is confirmation of whatever we were just talking about with this Fool energy and you guys taking a leap of faith with someone new. At currently, you could miss this person. You could be sad. I don't really so much think it's more of a missing this person. Some of y'all are sad and just sad about the way things went down and it's just disheartening, disappointed in things. Um, so this could be your energy as well. Depends on where you are in the situation. But I really more so think you're minding your business, you're single, you're abundant, and you're looking to the future, you're focused on the future. Her back is literally turned in this card towards the card, towards us, right? So I feel like your back is turned to this person, towards this situation, towards the fighting, the arguing, the disagreeing, the trying to come to common grounds, trying to get understanding, trying to build a friendship. You done. You don't give a fuck. All of it, you're done. You're over it. It's fine. We ain't got to. Nope, it's good. We're good, right? <laughs> so you look into your future, and then, boom, you get this this Ace of Cups full energy after being in some very, very depressing, sad, heartbreaking energy. Oh, I like that. That is so good for you guys. Here's the King of Cups again. With the Temperance, the Hierophant, the Emperor, the King of Pentacles with the Magician. Five of Pentacles. If you think it's over with your kid's father or mother or your ex-husband or wife or that long-term situation that you just never really found your way out of, if you think it's finally over, it's not. I hate to say that. I'm sorry to say that, but it's not. I feel like low-key this person know they're getting some sort of karma for playing in Juju, but I feel like this motherfucker finna get back in the fucking magic box trying to, you know, because they may have felt like it worked for them prior, previously, and they're going to try to do it again. But this is all because of some sort of temperance, higher font, some sort of temper, temperance and higher level of commitment that you end up getting into with this King of Cups justice. This is the scales being balanced. This is this masculine's karma, this person may have tried to hang on to you without fully committing to their new situation because they didn't want to see you come together with this King of Cups. And for a lot of y'all, they're going to end up having to watch it anyways. It's like they went out of their way to try to destroy this connection. But love is love, right? And you cannot take something from someone that is meant for them. And this is your person and you are their person. So if y'all met, and it got fucked up because this crazy motherfucker didn't know how to just go away and be in their own new fucking relationship and commitment. They didn't ruin it. So if y'all felt like you, oh, I got with this person, I married him, I had kids with him, or I was with him for five years or six years or 10 years, and you feel like this is over between you and this King of Cups, it's not. You know, if some of y'all met this person and y'all only dealt with each other for a year or two, and then you, you haven't seen him or spoken to him in two or three years and You've been dealing with this goofy shit. Regardless of what the scenario is, you guys are not done with this King of Cups. And this King of Cups isn't done with you. And this 
emperor, whoever this fucking crazy motherfucker is right here, who keep coming out in this energy, who is how I know this is somebody y'all was married to, lived with, or have kids with, okay? This person didn't stop shit. If, if I'm going to be honest, this person actually, this situation is going to go the distance and y'all are not going to leave each other. And y'all had time and space to see what else was out there and who, what, what y'all was doing with past connections and all that because of this person. So really this person did you and this King of Cups a favor because you may have still had love for this person, feelings and emotions up until now, right? And there could have been a time where this person was always going to try to come back to you. But you may have actually taken them back or left this King of Cups for them in the past where now you see their true colors. You, you would never leave a, something solid, stable and secure for the unknown. And so this masculine, this King of Cups may have their own codependency issues. You may have yours, but I feel like y'all are going to be able to be codependent on each other in a positive way. Right. Not where y'all are draining each other and sucking each other dry, but where where you guys are building each other up and uplifting each other and motivating each other and just all these really beautiful energies and this is the scales being balanced you were putting this king of cups life for a, a reason at that time and they were putting your life for a reason you were meant to see that the type of man you want exists and they were meant to see the type of woman they want exists or vice versa and when y'all had each other it was amazing it was a wish fulfillment if y'all had each other and y'all were in the sexual connection and it ended and blah 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 it is going to restart. Y'all have been at some sort of distance, right? But it's going to restart. Y'all are going to take a leap of faith to actually commit to one another or be loyal to one another or be honest and open with one another. And this is going to lead to an ultimate wish fulfillment for you in this King of Cups. Because right now, this person, if y'all don't have this person already, then this person just is crushing on you really, really heavy right now. But, you know, I don't know. Y'all cycle is definitely about to start. We have the Six of Wands, Ten of Cups. So you guys are, your back is turned. You're focused on your future. You may be on a public platform with the star and the Six of Wands. Admiration, you know, um, success, wealth. You could be a healer. You could be healing others. But I definitely feel like you're healing yourself or you feel like you don't know if you're healing, but you are. You're healing, you're you're doing you're doing it right. You're just taking the steps and it's taking some time. But happiness is right around the corner. And I'm telling y'all, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor and the the King and Queen of Cups. Cause y'all didn't get Emperor and Empress. <laughs> that that but that's cause that energy keep coming out with this goddamn person because they won't go the fuck away or get out this energy. But yeah. This masculine, this situation is going to be unrivaled, okay? It, it's not going to be, it, there's no opportunity or anything for anybody to come between y'all. Yeah, here they are, the world with the Eight of Swords. Y'all cycle is the fuck over, and this person is all in their fucking head. Whoever this past person is trying to figure out, trying to figure out if they can start y'all cycle back up again. Because Seven of Wands, you're fucking blocked, and they don't know how to get, how to get in. They don't know how to get in. They don't know how to get you to take them serious, the wheel. And they feel like this is their karma. For one, they feel like they took too long to come back around. Ten of Wands. This is crazy. This is judgment for this person breaking your heart the way that they did. And Bert causing you so much strife and burden the way that they did in the past. Um... But yeah, they feel like this is karma because they took too much time to come back around. They also feel like a part of their karma is the burden that they're going through because this person is very burdened in their life, partially due to finances, and, but this person's very mental and emotional. and they, So it's really the heartbreak that's burdening them. They can't get over it, right? They can't heal or fix their heart. This person could be fucking any and everything, but nothing is hidden. They need a soul tie right they need something real and y'all had something real so that's why they coming back towards you but yeah with judgment this is this person's karma the divine does have all of this in the works happening to this person um more so for this person i want to say because this is supposed to be some sort of a like lesson for them 
are they going to get it doubtful but yeah this is really happening for them spirit is still trying to work on this person and get them to to mature and change and shift and heal and grow but it don't look like they are because they coming back towards you to cause problems and strife and to try to fight against whoever this other masculine is so all because they can't get over heartbreak not your problem your fault or your business that's that shit Ooh. I was like, I just didn't know it was going to come out again. <laughs> okay, the King of Pentacles. No fucking way. No fucking way. No. No. Oh. Okay, we finna get out of here. But what I tell y'all, that this person is secretly watching you online. Y'all don't know that they're watching. Who are they watching? The fucking... <laughs> come the fuck on. Like, the Queen of Pentacles, which would be you. Not anymore, though. You're not the Queen of Pentacles anymore. You're not their wife anymore. You're not their husband anymore. You ain't even their baby mama, their baby daddy no more. You know what I'm saying? You like this, and we got a new dad in here. Like this, these are his kids now. You know what I mean? Like you ain't you. They're not shit at all. Okay, but and you're even showing up as the Queen of Cups. So really, you're not anything to or for this person. But they crushing on you. And I feel like the obsession and the crushing and all of that is just going to be magnified when they find out that you moved on from them. This person is just uh, bossy and controlling. I don't know. Uh, this person is just trying to find their way. This person is just trying to feel loved by anybody who would take them. And it, it wasn't whoever that other feminine was. And it don't look like it's the past feminine either. But, um... Yeah, they, they crushing on you and they want or need to move in with you. This is so funny because y'all already living with the King of Cups. But this person wants to move in with you guys. But if you move in with this person, look at this. You see what I'm saying? We have the Four of Wands, which is celebrating, partying, exciting energy. But then we have the Queen of... Y'all don't match. You're in this energy. You're a self-lover. You're a healer. You're nurturing. You're kind. You have a big heart, you're forgiving, you tip people, you know what I'm saying? You hold the door open for motherfuckers, like, you're you're good, you're solid, you know? If the person in front of you need a dollar fifty, you like, oh, I got it, you know, I'll take care of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're good. They're not, they're nothing like you. They don't tip, okay? They don't have no feelings, no emotions, they don't forgive, they don't have a heart, you know what I'm saying? So if you got back in the house with this person, this is what you would have and what you would receive, a king of swords to your queen of swords. But I don't feel like that's, some of y'all aren't living with this other person just yet, or you may not be living with them. Y'all, it could be something that you guys are discussing by the time this person come back around, so take it as it resonates. If you're already living with them, it ain't nothing for you to worry about. You ain't finna move out the house or or even entertain this motherfucker while you in a new relationship. But um yeah, if y'all are technically still single or if y'all are committed but y'all are living separately or whatever, when y'all move in together, it's going to be equal. It's going to be loved. It's going to be king and queen of cups. It's going to be them pouring into you and you pouring into them. Y'all going to be cooking together. Y'all going to be, you know, vlogging and shit. Y'all might end up with some big, huge power couple, you know, look how sexy they are ass type situation online. Like, but you could never have that with this past person because y'all are not the same. Y'all do not match. Okay. Y'all are not the same suit. Sure, y'all may have gotten married and have some kids, but just because you marry somebody and have kids with somebody don't mean that's the right person for you. Not that you made a mistake, you ain't dumb, you didn't do nothing stupid, you know, you just did what you thought was right at the time, and then it turns out that it's not right. No one can predict that, right? So, I, we finna get out of here, because, ooh we <laughs> this was a lot, but yeah, y'all new situation, it's exciting. Y'all should be excited to have this new love. But just be careful. Don't, don't find yourself back in a karmic relationship with a karmic masculine who's coming in to use you for your big heart and for a place to stay and some money, okay? All right, y'all. So that's going to be our reading. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you like it. Smile vibe. My name is Omni Badu. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, your donations, all of your positive comments. And until next time, bye.